was really unique because we were able to do a conference call with Mara, who is at the headquarters in Michigan, and so we did that via conference call with Stuart, and Mara just had fabulous things to say about Valdosta and her personal um, appreciation of, the, of our, our community. So um, that was a really cool opportunity that we, we had um, for that project. Um, the Build Miles Development Council, which I presented at our board retreat, um, was, um, is a, we will initiate that program in the third quarter of this year. Um, we have implemented a new software program, which I'm going to showcase to you guys tonight, and so that's where a lot of my um, blood, sweat, and tears have been for the past couple weeks. So, um, but one thing I did want to show um, as well, is there's a new determined widget on our website um, from our GIS planning vendor um, on to provide demographic information um, on our website. This was information. This was they have the demographic tool on our prospector site search. This was an, a new intelligent component they created that we're actually able to put these um, coding on our website. So this is all. Um, now installed on our site and you can find all the demographic and data information that they provide there and then also um, export it and you can do search by different regions. So there's the demographic and then also the map um, intelligent component is on here as well. <coughs> on with layers and then you can add on heat maps for the information you're looking for to the map um, component. So that was a new feature that has been added to the website. Um, and there's multiple ways to use it. It was very cool. Um, Megan, it, if I may, before it, you leave from that, I have a question. Yeah. I, I looked at that. I think it's really nice. What is the source of that demographic information? They, it's, it's on well, the prospector site. Um, I couldn't find, is it census track information? I think they have an independent client, independent vendor, that, and it's updated. Yeah, I was just curious about the breakdown in, in terms of, um, race, income, etc. On the accuracy of it? Well, not the accuracy, but the original source the of original the information. Source. Okay. I don't have any questions about the accuracy. I was just curious yeah. more than anything else. I'll, um, I'll send you the, the source okay. tomorrow. Roy, we, in the real estate business, a lot of times we can outsource private demographic yeah. information for people that update it more often than census. You know, really? So, yeah. You pay for that. Yeah. So there's companies like Esri and Ethne and there's tons of different companies out there. That's all they do is report that other than the census and the like. Uh, I was just curious as to the source, that's all. Yeah. Not that I think it's accurate or inaccurate. I just want to know what came. And it's noted on the site. It's just in fine print. And so it would take me a minute to go find it. Um, Stan's going to go over our business retention action team flyer, which um, we created artwork for that you have a copy of. The Department of Community Affairs Executive Board was here um, last week in our community, and, and Larry Hansen is um, an at-large member on their board, and so we were lucky to have those um, distinct um, state representatives in our community. I was able to take them on a tour Thursday morning of Second Harvest Food Bank, which has received DCA funding, um, a grant for some um, new and improved office space, and then they also are working on a cold, a storage, new storage expansion of cold refrigerated and, and being able to dock the trucks and not have, to have the temperature control. Um, we went to Smith um, Fulfillment Center, and then also Steeda, and um, all of the people who attended were just amazed at the innovation and how cool um, that they've never seen operations like Smith or Steeda anywhere else that they've been. So they were very um, cool. It was, they were very amazed to see what we do have um, our industry in Valdosta. So that was a got great feedback from that. 
We are planning um, to have our project managers from the State Department of Economic Development and Georgia Power and Georgia EMC um, and ECG in Valdosta for a South Georgia Developer Day. They will be doing several tours in other counties, but they'll hope we'll have most of their time, even though it's a small amount of time here in Valdosta, um, the first week of June. Um, we are going to put their feet actually on um, Wiregrass campus to show them the CDL program and welding program at Wiregrass and then um, as well go to the new um, facility at BSU on Friday morning and do some talk about um, the international business program and some compu computer IT programs at BSU. Um, so we have um, implemented a new software program called Salesforce and this is a very powerful tool that we are excited to be using um, in our office internally um, to track progress of different targets that we have set for our organization um, and then also for our project development and project activity and so some of that um, what some of what I'm going to show you is like we of the reports of tracking of information that we've so far have, have used it for. So here is, um, this will kind of be a preview of the report that Stan and Andrea are going, going to give you. So as we use this software, we will be able to track, and these are our real reports, these are not samples, um, our project by type, which we would, we are tracking by recruitment, existing company expansion and other and there's existing company retention but right now we don't have any of those projects active um, and then project by stage you can see where they're at in the pro we're at where we're at in the pro process of the projects that we are working um, as well as our projects by lead source you can see visually where our projects are um, coming from, where we're getting our leads from. Um, majority of those are coming from existing industry, which are existing industry expansions. Um, five of those are coming from consultants, um, or, oh, or pros prospect consultants. Um, then also projects by industry. So you can see the um, variety of industry um, segments that we are working for the project count. And then um, our tracking metrics. So there are several targets that we sat down as a, a team and discussed and decided on. And um, we'll be able to provide this report and to you guys each month at our board meeting. Um, so our project, new project target was 15 and we're at 17. Um, and then new project client visits, so a prospect visit into our community that's located outside and coming in. Our um, target is to have nine visits, and we have currently had three at this time. Expansion and announcements, our target is to have seven for the year, and we have had three expansion announcements. And the capital investment, majority of those expansions and announcements have been capital investment driven. And so we are, um, our goal for capital investment is $45 million, and we have already announced $11 million over 11 million and those announcements expansions are listed there um, target for our new for new jobs is um, 200 for the year and we have a, our announcement um, expansions have 25 which would be with the letter has new um, expansion and capital investment capital investment um, graph there is just a repeat to see them side by side and then we'll tracking as um, well the existing industry visits Stan has. Um, so our target for the year is 50 and he has completed 18. Um, we have several other targets um, like referrals that we will make to our existing industries um, and some other benchmarks that we'll put, we will take this information and convert it into a scoreboard, into a you know, cool life report for everybody to see visually kind of what activity and, and work we're, we are do on a daily basis um, we're just still getting through 
all getting it all the kinks worked out and getting it all in our in our head. So um, I wanted to show you how cool that is. But um, like, <laughs> yeah, and I would say that this is actually something we've been working on since we started looking at this in December. So it's not just been a couple of months. So it's actually been a long term project that we've been working on and Megan has focused a lot of her energy in getting this up and running. Because as you can see, a lot of it is data driven. So it took us a few months to get all our existing industries in there to go back to our projects in there. So really and truly, this has taken a long time for us to get it up. And it's only as good as the information we put in there. So um, our goal here is that at the end of the year, when some of you ask for those numbers, for how many time, how many projects did you work and how many, you know, what was the success rate, what was the turnover, we'll be able to generate those reports. You'll also be able to see it from an infographic perspective that will make the connection in there for you as well. Your targets, are those targets based on past performance? So what we and did... what period of time did you go back to discern whether or not your job target's 200 versus 500? So what we did is we actually went back and looked at last year's numbers okay. um, and the last few years and where we kind of averaged out on the number of jobs created. We also looked at another couple... We also worked with the company to help us get some of this information and training and reports all done. But we also work with some colleagues in economic development that are using this tool as well. Kind of looked at what they use, benchmarked their projects, benchmarked not projects, reports that they had. Um, but it's historical data that we've collected over the last few years to give us those targets. And obviously we need to do some tweaking. So these are things we've looked at from the past, but we'll kind of tweak them along the way. And with like feedback, you know, from the board if they think they are, you know, what we might need to do to adjust those in the future. Um, from the board retreat in April, um, I was asked to create a resource for, for the board. And so a lot of this information that we are tracking in Salesforce, I have incorporated um, into this resource that you have a copy of in front of you um, that you're able to take with you and look at and have the target um, in your hands. Um, in the next, in the in the future, we'll have our actual numbers from years past, and then our targets. And we'll track, we'll put the actual numbers we had for 2015, and then put our targets for 2016. So you can see the history um, once we create this in next for the, in multiple times. Um, if this is, I hope that this meets what you discussed in your board tree of the resource you were looking for. If not, I'm happy to take any suggestions or additions you would like to have um, to be educated and to have the information that you, you, you were looking for. So I appreciate any um, feedback you have on that. And that will conclude my report. Any more questions? All right, Andrea, final report. Um, so, um, new project report, what we're going to 